Hey everybody, it's the Life Lesson Friday for November 8th of 2024. It has to do with, are you watering in the right spot? And the other day, uh, yesterday actually, I was driving and through the neighborhood and noticed that we had a little bit of drizzle and there were dry spots on the road where trees, you know, were overhanging the road and so it wasn't raining enough to soak the whole road. It was just enough to get wet where the tree was not, you know, covering, where the canopy of the leaves and everything were not covering. And it thought hit that, you know, it's interesting. If it doesn't rain very much, then the leaves block like an umbrella, right? The tree blocks the ground like an umbrella and it drops down to the edge of the tree. Which, if you've ever dug up a tree, you know that's where the roots actually go to. Like they, they extend all the way out to mirror image the tree above the ground. So what it's doing is effectively deflecting the water down to the spot where it needs to soak up the most. Because it's going to soak it up from the very end of the roots. The roots are going to go out and they're going to keep going out until they hit water. Till they hit the nutrients that they need. They're going to keep extending out. But the overall is blocking the water. Putting it into the right spot. So that it can be absorbed. And feed the tree. How often do we. Not block the things. That we need to block. How often do we let everything in. How often do we not water the right spots. Of our lives with the right nutrients and the right stuff we need. And, you know, my neighbor uh, several years ago planted a new tree and we're in Texas. It doesn't rain a lot. And he was watering it and watering it and watering it and the leaves started getting brown and they started to fall off. And he called the, he, we had talked about it at one point and he was like, yeah, I think, the, I think the tree's dead. I'm going to have to call the, the nursery and see if they can replace it because it's still, you know, under, the warranty of um, him purchasing it and they came out and they were like no you're watering it too much you're watering it too much at the, the trunk of the tree so you could be overfilled you can be overdoing it and why you think that oh if I'm overdoing the right stuff it's gonna be just above and beyond successful it's not always the case you know, it's, there's a balance. There's a proper spot for the nutrition to hit. There's a proper spot for the water to hit to really feed the tree. Same thing with your life. There's a proper spot. There's a proper amount. There's a proper usage and there's a proper recovery time. And there's a proper amount in, in, in space that you've got to go find the stuff that you need. It's not always going to come right to you. Right? The tree stands out its roots trying to find the stuff that it needs. So we have to work to get the things that we want. We have to make sure that we're feeding ourselves properly in the right direction at the right time, at the right amounts, that it's coming to the right places in our lives. And just like the trees in the forest and the trees in you know, the uh, Amazon, you know, the rainforest trees, the, uh, the just typical like orchards and they all work together, right? They all feel together. They all work together. They all help each other out. And that's the other piece of what we should be doing is feeding ourselves, reaching out to the, find the right nutrition, the right things that we need for ourselves, but also helping each other because we're all part of this together. So making sure that you're watering yourself in the right spot is extremely important to be able to continue to move forward and help each other out and raise the community up to a level that we need it to be at. So that's the life lesson for this Friday.